Hello everyone and welcome back to RGB Tech. Here today in this video we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of WinLater Glib C. This is actually the modified version of official WinLater, and it's supposed to be the best performance update, based on the version 7.1.1 with the native Glib C support. This will improve a lot of performance overall compared to previous versions. Here they added new DXVK 2.4 with async version. Box 86 version is completely removed. Added support for linear triggers for X input. This version also works on Mali GPU phones with VirGL support. And here they also changed the AVX extension for Box 64, which is disabled by default. Also make a note that before installing this version, make sure you have to uninstall previous installed WinLater version to avoid errors. All right, now simply download and install package. But wait, there's one more thing you need to do. Recently, new custom turnip driver got released for WinLater, also for other modified versions, which will greatly improve the performance. It all depends upon your phone. All right, download driver file. Open WinLater. Enable permission. All of these steps are same as usual. Go to settings. Here, as you can see, it's installed with the latest Wine 9.13 build. Select box 64 version. You can set to default, or here I'll go with the latest version. Set box 64 preset to performance. And here there is new option for game controller, trigger modes. Leave it to default. Save the settings. Now add and create container. Here I will show the best settings for both high and low end Snapdragon devices. Set screen resolution. Prefer lower for better performance. Select turnip driver for Adreno. Set to DXVK version. Here on settings you can go default or I'll go with latest 2.4 to see how it performs. For 2.4 version, you can enable async, also async cache. Leave frame rate and device memory to default. Okay, now set audio driver to pulse audio. Enable FPS meter. On Wine configuration, set GPU name you want. Set GPU video memory to maximum. Wine components all to default. Same for variable values. Now go to advanced, set preset to performance. Select startup mode to aggressive. Save the container. Now let's boot the system. And there we go. It's quickly booted less than 3-4 seconds. Toggle to full screen. Now go to start wine configuration. Set version to Windows 10. For old graphic titles prefer 7. All things got perfectly installed. Now apply and save settings. And yeah, the Direct3D also working. One more thing. You need to configure the turnip driver to this emulator. Go to the path where you downloaded. Copy the file. Get back, go to Z drive. To the user folder. Library folder and paste here. Select OK, it's done. Now again, restart this container to configure some changes. This will improve a lot of performance and FPS. All right, we are now completely ready. For low-end Snapdragon devices, head over to Settings. Setbox 64 version to latest. Set Preset to Performance. Here create a duplicate preset. Tap on Edit icon. Here you need to change value of Dynarec safe flags to zero. Apply OK. And select the preset we changed. Save settings. Now get back add container. Here I just want to show you for low power devices. Set resolution to the lowest 800 into 600. Select Turnip Driver Adreno. DXVK version on settings leave them to default. Audio driver to pulse audio. Enable FPS meter if you want. Set video memory to maximum. Leave the remaining settings to default, same as usual. On advanced tab, set custom preset we created. Enable startup selection to essential mode or aggressive. Set processor affinity to all cores. Save the container settings, so these are the best settings. And then you need to follow this same step for turnip file configuration. And for MediaTek Exynos Mali devices, I will do a separate video soon. Anyways, that's it all for today's video, guys. Hope you liked. Also, subscribe for more stuff. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.